Hello. Getting ready to head out. Wow. Um. That thing's loud. It says they want me to at the doctor like 15 minutes before my appointment, so it's about eight minutes before. So I'm gonna go. Oh, excuse me, head that way. You woke up a few different times last night because my hand hurt. I don't know. I took my pills this morning, so we'll go there, see what they say about the hand, maybe get my baseline. That's really what I wanted with this whole thing for a primary care. It was like, get blood work done, so I just get a whole baseline of, you know, just check everything out. Basically, that's what I wanted. I'm going to leave my shop door open. So we're going to hopefully get all that stuff done and it all worked out so well. So don't mess it up. Let's go get there on time. Wow. Don't realize it's 10 o'clock on the dot. Um, okay. That's surprising. <laughs> oh, look at that. Holding left-handed. What? What? I'm going to put my seatbelt on and you're going to go for a ride through the seatbelt. There we go. Yeah. I got in there at 8.30. Got everything pulled me back about 10 8 40 not bad so hour and a half they un you know did everything and then they got me some more bandages and we had to wrap it up so you want to look at it so we're getting stitches out next monday yep monday getting stitches out instead of doing just friday at seven days we're going to wait a couple extra few extra days just because it was so gnarly in that give a little time to heal a little more and we set up a physical for six uh, six months out to get a physical and baseline because they're so busy. They're taking all kinds of their stuff, so that's good. And then um, turn my AC on. Oh, they're gonna set me up with a ortho. Uh, ortho. They gave me a referral for the ortho, and she also is thinking about wanting to set me up with a hand doctor just to double, triple check, you know, everything in there. A hand surgeon. But that's about it, so I'm going to go fill the diesel up. I don't think I need to run anything else. I'll probably go home and get some breakfast finally. It took a pretty long time, but for his new patient visit as well, not just my hand, so went pretty quick. Yeah. Thought about it as soon as I got back. I was like, oh great, with my hand and having to change the battery out, like especially I remembered all this plastic crap and everything in the way this wasn't going to be very fun okay. and kind of limiting for me I got some good stuff. oh yeah get the corrosion all off yeah. my connectors what can you do at least i stopped by walmart grabbed there goes a the wrench at least i stopped by got a diesel adam was at a gas station so i got to talk to him I went to Walmart, got a battery for the garage door opener since Matt used mine. Then I ended up getting all the gunk and stuff for my uh, um, hand. Some more wrap and bandages. We should be good to go. Okay, since battery is done, I came home and I made a hamburger on the grill boy let's talk about and i wanted jalapenos on it like my sliced ones my pickles and everything that was work since nobody's here so that was fun i got through all that longer than normal process and then uh sat down for a bit and i got a phone call from the orthopedic and they want me in thursday at 10 30 in the morning so i'm gonna do that they're gonna do some more x-rays just to double check and just Run through all that, what I need to do, what not. So that'll be good, 10.30. Uh, I gotta take mom to the airport tomorrow. So I'm gonna have to be getting up at 3 a.m., take her to the airport. Then, um, yeah. That's Thursday, tomorrow's mom, then it's the orthopedic, then it's the chiropractor. But I'm going to attempt to mow. I need to mow. 
So we're going to attempt the zero turn mower. I think I can do it. I think I can. I guess you'll find out in a couple hours or a few minutes. Let's hope I need to get done. At least I'm still alive. At least I still made it. Yeah. That's about it. <laughs> Could have been a lot worse, could have been a lot better, could have been a lot of everything else. Oh well. You're just gonna have to slow that son of a bitch down. Slow it down? Why do you think I put more horsepower on it? Drive put more, put more horsepower on it last time to soup it all up. Like my dad always told me, you're gonna slow the hell down and drive sensible. Yeah, your dad, you drive like a bat out of hell. <laughs> it's always, uh, what is it, do as I say, not as I do. Yeah. That's always weird about me. Okay, well, hell, it's already 8.44. I'm out of the shower. Just got done cleaning this. So I'm going to let it all air dry for a bit. Now I'm going to wrap it up. Got to take mom to the... Got to get up at 3 a.m. Take mom to the airport. You saw I mowed. And I went over to Creston's. Ended up showing him, like, everything. Told him everything that happened. And Roberta got home. So I went inside and we talked to her on the kitchen table. For a few I probably talked over there for two hours. It was a great time. Came home, closed the shop up, and... That was it, so mom's packing and everything else, so we're going to be ready to call this a night and call it an early morning tomorrow. Hand doesn't hurt too bad, so moving with success. Tomorrow, all the sand tires come off.